Hey everybody, this is Dustin the Grinch, and I'm here to give you the 13 games that you should have got from Microsoft for the Xbox One. This is gonna be crazy, no monotone, high energy, bitta, bada bang, let's go. So Microsoft has their 13 games, and I don't think they're that good. So my first one is gonna be Ninja Guy in Black. And you know what? It's actually on the same list as those motherfuckers. So their list is okay. It just doesn't have all the right boxes checked. And that's a problem. So let's get this game out of here. You already know why it's good. Difficulty, great combat, excellent bosses, enemy design, all the yada, yada, yada yang. Woo! Next game. Next game, I hope you hear me. I hope the audio is not all messing up. And I hope I'm not kicking the table. Next, we got Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Now, this is a beastly co op game. You got RPG elements, you got great enemy design. You got little puzzles that are a little on the weak side. I wish they were better on the puzzles. But the combat, the RPG elements, the enemies, the being able to play with the friend and choose who you play with is amazing. This definitely needs to be on the list. What a great game to not be on it. Destroy All Humans, you got another co-op game. And this is made by the defunct THQ. And I don't know if Pandemic is now defunct, but this is a great co-op game where you're just killing people, and this is kind of like how probably reality really is. What was that sound? But this is probably how reality actually is. The aliens are watching us on National League Grab. Am I crazy? Hi, I'm Dustin the Grinch. And I'm not only high, I'm also drunk. Splinter Cell OG with Sam Fisher. This game had amazing lighting, rendering, interactivity. The way you could hold people hostage was the first of its kind. You could do the splits and go up, climb up walls, and then take people out. This is an amazing game. Like, you need to play this game if you haven't, even though it's old. Go back to the OG Splinter Cell and actually enjoy what Sam Fisher really was in the beginning before he got all convoluted with all these stories later. So let's move on. Otogi 2, you got six gods you can control. They all have distinctly different combat. This game is beautifully rendered. The combat is challenging. The bosses are great. The game feels like a dream. I wish it was multiplayer, but it's not. But it doesn't take away from this Dynasty Warriors like game. It's amazing. It truly is awesome. And I, I wish we could have gotten an Atogi 3. I'm sure it didn't make enough. But add it to the backwards compatibility list, please. So more people can enjoy this game. And maybe in the future, Sega can actually make an adequate sequel that's co op and online. That would be amazing. Thank you. Now Crimson Skies, this is where you take to the sky and you actually, br you bring revenge, you do the right thing. There's people that are just vigilantes and sky pirates making things not right. And I want to say you're BJ Blaskowitz, but Wolfenstein comes out October 27th this Friday. I don't know what this guy's freaking name is. Let's see if I can find it real quick, looking at it in 10 seconds. Nathan Zachary, Booyah, 1930s alternate universe. And this is just a fun kind of Hollywood spin-off movie game type thing of my bobber. But you need to play this game if you haven't. And when this is definitely backwards compatible, and you're going to be able to play this online on the Xbox One. So good job, Microsoft. I rarely say that on the channel, but good, good job for at least bringing this one back. I'm going to play this shit. And I'm gonna compete. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you, Microsoft. And Phil Spencer, thank you. Jade Empire. Now, this is an amazing game from Bioware with great dialogue, great combat, but you rarely get to see it in a kung fu environment with all these Chinese and Oriental influences. This is an amazing game with an amazing graphics system just way ahead of its time and everybody needs to get this mother freaking game it's amazing enjoy it if you don't have a xbox or you don't care for consoles you can at least download it through ea's origin store on pc now we got coder or cooter for all those people in canada but this is an amazing star wars game also made by bioware 
And this has an amazing dialogue system, combat, and an amazing world for you to lose 100 hours or 200 hours of your life depending on how much you like the game. And this game is actually backwards compatible. So good job Microsoft, this is on the list. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, now I'm picking up all the rest of the games. I'm picking them all up. I'm trying to charge myself up. So first on the list, Panzer Dragon Orta. This is a game that is amazing. I love on-rail shooters. And this is a game that's probably not as popular as Star Fox 64 for most Americans. But this is an amazing game. If you have a Sega Saturn, make sure you play the first two. I'm sure if you have a Sega Saturn in the first place, you already have. And if you got 500 bucks, you can buy the third Panzer Dragon RPG. But if you only got 20 bucks and you just want to play this on the Xbox, this is a freaking amazing game. I can't even talk. I love rail shooters though. And this is an amazing graphics system and just everything's bomb. So play it. Shenmue 2, another game from Sega. This game is the shit. You get robbed, you get jacked, you fight, you learn more about your past. You do everything. You, you bring honor back to your village. You do everything. This is an amazing game and I can't wait for Ryu. I think it's Ryu Suzuki or am I saying this just totally wrong? I think I am. But anyway, I don't care. This game needs to be brought back to the backwards compatibility list. Amazing. Def Jam Vendetta. If you love all the Aki wrestling games like WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy on the N64, this is a continuation of that on the Xbox, PS2, and GameCube. And all these games are your favorite rappers battling it out with projectiles and weapons. And this is an amazing game. Like, I just love being ludicrous and going buck nasty on motherfuckers. Like, this game is the shit. Get it, play it, add it to the backwards compatibility list, Microsoft. Because this isn't on it. And this is a game you want to cherish and love. It's getting more expensive by the day. So if you don't want to risk it and you're just a collector, go buy right now. Now we got Conker's Live and Reloaded. Now, I don't really like the multiplayer. It's kind of like a shooter. But you know what? It's still a gorgeous game. If you stick to the single player, this is so fun and gorgeous and a nice reimagining of the original N64 title. I don't know why this wasn't on the rare collector's package. They should have the original in this. It was kind of a letdown for me on that, that disc. I bought it and it's kind of a shame. But I don't know why Microsoft doesn't bring this version back. It's getting more and more pricey by the day and it's a fucking amazing game. Go add this to the list, dogs. It's even made by Rare, your own studio. This should have been on the original 13 and it's a shame. The last game on my list stars Vin Diesel and this is Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. And this is a first person shooter with revolutionary graphics that were way ahead of its time. I don't think the PlayStation 2 or the GameCube could have rendered this game at the frame rates. It would have just been abysmal. This is a game that I believe could have only been on the Xbox, the OG, with the power of that system. And this game is incredible. It's available on PC now if you just want to play it easy. But if you're a collector, go pick this game up. It's amazing. And these are my 13 games that you gotta get if your Microsoft on your original 13 backwards compatible OG mother freaking games. What a mouthful. I know I'm just trying to say it all crazy, but have a go and this is Gantato and I hope you enjoyed the games and my ramble. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Peace.